Say 99. 99. Hmm? Say thank you. Thank you. Hmm? Say breasts. <laughs> breasts. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Good. Good. Yes. Do you show up now, Mr. Pepperdine? Everything, uh, everything as it should be. I don't think there's anything to worry about there. Now, you say you've had a little difficulty breathing at nights. Uh, yes, that's right, yeah. Have you been uh, bringing up any sputum? Uh, no, not really. Any uh, yellow or green in your phlegm? Blood? No. Mm -hmm. Bit of tightness in the chest? Uh, yes, a little, yeah. Uh -huh. Headaches? Well, apart from the children, you mean. Uh, no, not really, no. <laughs> Right. Well, I think I'm going to put you on a course of these. I don't know if you've ever had them before. One, twenty times a day. <laughs> uh, what are they? Well, it's a simple um, arsenus monoxid um, nicotinal preparation taken bronchially as an infumation. An infumation? Yes, you light the end and breathe in. Oh, like cigarettes? Oh, you know them then? Yes. <laughs> um, a little hard for a doctor to admit, but they're basically a herbal remedy. Oh, herbal cigarettes. That's right, yes. Um, it, the leaf originally comes from America, I believe. It's called tobacco. <laughs> but medicated? Medicated, no. But these are ordinary cigarettes. That's right. But they're terribly bad for you, aren't they? <laughs> I hardly think I'd be prescribing them if they were bad for you, would I? <laughs> what, 20 a day? That's right, ideally rising to 30 or 40 if they begin to be, <laughs> seem to be doing the trick. No, but, but these give you lung cancer and bronchitis and emphysema, don't they? Oh, no, I gave you that idea. Well, I thought everybody knew that. <laughs> Are you a doctor? No, but it, I mean, it stands to reason. You're talking it? about stands to reason. I mean, you wouldn't know what a pair of lungs did if you hadn't been told, would you? It's taken mankind thousands of years to work out what a heart does, what blood vessels are for, what kidneys do. And now, just because you've read a few weedy magazine articles, you think you know more about the human body than I do? No, but it, I mean, it can't be natural, can it? It's a perfectly natural leaf. Yes, but, but setting fire to it and inhaling... Well, it's more natural than baked Alaska or nylon socks. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, but you don't inhale nylon socks. At least I don't. A bit of leaf smoke to loosen the lungs, clear the head, ease that tightness, perfectly sound. You'll be telling me that cholesterol isn't bad for you next. What's cholesterol? <laughs> well, you know... It, yes, I know perfectly well, but I don't suppose you'd even heard of it until about five years ago, had you? You'd die without the stuff. Uh, yes, but too much is bad for you. But of of course too much is bad for you. Too much of anything is bad for you, you blithering twat. <laughs> That's what too much means. Too much water would be bad for you. Obviously, too much is precisely that quantity which is excessive. That's what it means. Jesus! <laughs> well, I thought the... You the thought you didn't think at all, did you? <laughs> Cigarettes are healing, harmless and natural. Well, if you don't mind, I'd like a second opinion. That is your privilege. Right. My second opinion is that they're also cheap stars. <laughs> really? Yep. If you want a third opinion, I'll tell you that they're healing, soothing and sexy. Well, that seems to clinch it. <laughs> exactly. So, 20 a day, rising to 30 or 40 as necessary. And the tightness in the chest? Should disappear completely. Mm. Right, well, you're the doctor. Hmm? I said you're the doctor. But Nath gives you that idea. <laughs> well, you did. You're pathetic, aren't you? <laughs> I'm a tobacconist, isn't it obvious? <laughs> well, well, no. Well, I do grant you it does look a little bit more like a doctor's surgery than a tobacconist. Well, why? Why? Because you're the kind of git that falls for that sort of thing, that's why. <laughs> it's the same reason that cosmetic sales staff wear white coats. Because fools like you think that something with a Swiss name that calls itself a skin treatment is better for you than a tub of cold cream, which is all you're actually getting. You're a credulous git, Mr. Pepperdine. <laughs> a stethoscope and a plausible manner do not make a doctor. I'm a con man, and you are a moron. So you're not a doctor? Could be. <laughs> what do you think? You really want to know? I'd be fascinated. Well, I think you've taken a reasonably interesting idea, and you basically just completely overworked it. I think what started out as quite an interesting statement on our susceptibility to received ideas has just turned into a rambling, vague, ill-thought-out piece of drivel, frankly. And uh, I think you want to end it now. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I think that shows you've just completely misunderstood. 